In this video, I'm going to show you how you can power a dash cam using a USB-C to USB-C cable. So I bought this dash cam a bit a week ago and it comes with the USB connector, C connector on the dash cam itself. And the other end of the cable is the USB-A, which is a standard. And it then comes with this little adapter, which you plug into the 12 volt cigarette lighter or whatever you call it these days and of course once you plug that into the top it's very very ugly and it also gets in the way of the handbrake and everything else so I, ideally i wanted to connect it to the usb-c ports in my car and this car has two usb-c ports down there so you can see them there so these are both power and data and it also has two ports behind the armrest in the back section and the ones on the back are just power only so ideally I want to use the back ones, run the cable down the side of the chair, tuck it underneath all the plastic, and then route it back up around there and back to the dash cam, but it just doesn't power on using USB-C. So I've got this cable here, which is one I want to use originally. You can see the top connector is USB-C, and this is also USB-C, and if I plug it into the one of the ports down here, that's plugged in, you can see the ignition is on, but there's no life in the camera whatsoever. Nothing whatsoever. So I'm just gonna unplug that. Even if you buy one of these adapters, so you can see this is the original adapter, which is a USB-A female. And I also bought one of these USB-C female adapters. So again, you should plug that into there. So I just plug that in. You can see the blue lights on. And again, if I could take the USB-C cable and plug it into there. And then go back upwards. And again, nothing's happening whatsoever. So this dash cam usually takes around five or six seconds to boot up. And you can see nothing whatsoever. So let's unplug that. So for some reason, USB-C to USB-C on a dash cam just doesn't work whatsoever. You can see if I, uh, I've got some things here. So what you need to do to make it work is you need one of these adapters. So these are not dear, they cost around five, six, seven pounds, depending on the quality. So this is a USB-A female connector to USB-C. So you grab the original cable, which is USB-A, and I would plug into the female section and then that section would then plug into your USB ports on your car there's also other options we've got this one here which is the one I actually be using so again this is USB a female to USB C female so again same kind of price five six seven pound and I've got these other ones as well I'm trying to find them so th again this is the same just a, an angle USB A female to USB C male. I will put all this in the description box because it is a bit confusing, all these different USB types. But if you use one of these adapters, so I plug the original cable into that and plug that into there, it works for some reason. Now, I kind of read online, there's no kind of definitive answer. Some people say that it converts the correct wattage to the dash cam, which it recognizes, and so on. So if I plug that into there, I'm just going to try and do this with one hand. Plug that into there. Then if I plug that into there, so I'm just going to plug this cable a minute. So the original cable's up here, it's already in the, in the uh, tucked away up in, in the roof section. I'm just going to plug the original cable back in. That's now plugged in firmly. So ideally you want to use the original cable that, which came with the dash cam. In some cases you may find that the cable is actually molded into the actual adapter. In that case you can buy a separate USB-C cable providing it's USB-C to uh, USB-A. What I did find is if you do use a very very long cable such as this one which I tried, this one works only on the back because the back section is power only. When I connected to the front, it kept thinking it was connected to a computer and it kept saying, view your files on this dash cam, which is no good. So if you do use an extra cable, a long cable, 
just be careful it may not work if your if your um, USB-C is power and data you ideally just need the power ones only so where are we so that's now connected to the adapter and if I plug this into the USB-C that's now plugged in the ignition is on give it a few seconds and you can now see it's powering on So it's really as simple as that. So a five, six, seven pound adapter plugged into your USB-C port and everything's good. So again, I will put all this in the description, what they are. Again, they don't cost much, five, six, seven pound tops. So what I'll be using is, I'll be using this one. So this cable is the one I wanted to use originally. So I'm gonna plug this into the back because it's got a right angle or a 90 degree angle I should say it's going to show you what it looks like with a torch you can see that's nice and tidy so the cable can then run all the way down the side of the passenger seat and I can tuck it underneath all the plastic and what I'll be doing I'll be using this adapter so I'm going to plug in the USB-C which is easy because it goes in both ways and then I'm just going to plug in let's unplug that take that out so this is the original cable and then I'm just going to join it together with this one difficult with one hand so you can now see I'm going to join that together push that in you can see the power that's kind of powered off but it should power back up now and there you go so it's as simple as that so I got a lot of cable left over so I think the original cable is around I think it's three meters and this extension one which I was hoping to use originally is another three meters so I can tidy all this together and I can then tuck it underneath the um, either the glove box or underneath the carpet right in the back so it's really as simple as that so again it's just plugged into the back you can see that's nice and tidy because there's a 90 degree angle and it's going to run all the way down there and just down there all the other cables already in place it's already up, up here down, down the pillar down the seal so it's two cables actually one at the back as well you can see needs a bit of tidying up that one as you can see that there's a dash cam at the back as well so this dash cam is a 2.7k i think and of course it's one at the back as well which is 1080p so in terms of power i think as long as your usb-c supports fast charging you should be absolutely fine i think this dash cam is a roughly 10 watts in total 4k maybe a little bit more but as long as your chat your um USB-C ports support fast charging, which they probably do because that's the reason for the USB-C Then it should power a dash cam no problem with one of these simple adapters So hopefully that helps you Thanks for watching